Uh, free to play mobile games we have today. Welcome back to the Mind Blow Show. I'm your host, the Inspector. And oh, hold on, I'm in the wrong outfit. Ah, uh, gotta change that quick. Aha, much better. Let's get this show on the road. It's time. <laughs> That was unnecessary. Whenever we do list sort of videos, no other list is more requested than mobile games, in particular free to play mobile games where you can still earn money. So today we're gonna take a look at some of the games which are currently out and then also some of the upcoming games that we are looking forward to. Obviously, this list could have only games like Gods Unchained, it's already out, we talk about it all the time. It could have Fet Narina, one of the games that, you know, wasn't too popular recently, but was very popular <laughs> the first week it came out two years ago. Okay, let's not talk about Fet Narina. No, in fact, we're gonna start with a game called Robo Hero. Robo Hero is a turn based strategy play to earn game that connects Web 2 and Web 3 through mobile devices. So, mobile gaming is huge, whether you like it or not. I'm personally a PC gamer, but you cannot deny the fact that most people, believe it or not, play the games on their phones. Available for both Android and iOS, but that's that's only what they say on the website. So what I learned is when I tried to put it on my iOS device, I couldn't find it. But on my Android device, I did find it and uh, here it is. But when I open it, I cannot currently play. It says coming soon. What I do have is watch to earn where we can watch and earn. That's not what we wanted here, but let's... And I've earned 0 0.4010 scraps. As you earn scraps by watching these videos, you can get their NFTs. And since there is lots of gameplay on this game, there is a way to play this sort of early access, but they do have this very interesting function called watch to earn that actually does work. So you do earn this scrap that you can use to buy an NFT with, but their main token is called Robo. Players can fight for Robo tokens by playing against each other in a PvP mode and wagering their Robo tokens where the winner gets the pot, basically. So you don't necessarily need to have that NFT, that's just the function they have added right now. It will be fully free to play when that game fully launches, but you can also earn this NFT through Watch to Earn, which is great. Now, how will the earning actually work? Well, there's two ways, active and passive. The active way I already talked about, it's only to wager. And then we have the passive way, you can be a landowner and earn commission from each fight. You can rent billboards to advertisers, you can rent your character for other players to play with, and you can be the owner of a mine and extract minerals. So what about this uh, billboard? Well, there's 1,000 billboards in the game where advertisers can put up whatever they advertise, and that way there's more money coming into the game very interesting i always wanted to see real billboards with real advertisers inside of games that's what the metaverse is about in my opinion so a uh, very interesting concept they have here with the mines and everything a lot more to unpack with robo hero the game is fully mobile because as far as i saw there is no download for pc but it is available to download on android next game bubble rangers endless runner all right, much like the previous game, I got it downloaded here on the phone and let's give it a shot, see what they do. You're supposed to earn bubble coins inside of their game, bubble being their main coin, and you collect little bubbles as you go along. Each bubble is a token. How old are you? Can I do zero? All right, I'll do my actual age, 27. Little guy got a little Samsung logo. Does that mean they're, yeah, they're officially sponsored or in a collaboration with Samsung, which is amazing. Their NFTs, the imaginary ones, have done extremely well. Their website is super polished. I absolutely love their website. I am just a sucker for really good websites. So uh, while this game is downloading, uh, let's see what their website actually looks like. It's super cute, a little figurines that you can play with, available for iOS, available for Android. These sort of endless runner games can always be fun whenever you're doing something passively you can still play that game on your phone whether it is you're watching a TV show just wasting time and you want to have some double entertainment you play the game a little bit you're waiting in a queue somewhere on the way to your bank to withdraw money to buy the dip whatever it may be this kind of game got you covered so there's various challenges where you can win prizes for example they have 100 USDT challenge Christmas Wonderland I guess this challenge is already over but you post a photo or a video of you playing a bubble Rangers for on the Xmas Christmas edition on social media and you stand a chance to win 100 USDT. They have lots of these kinds of giveaways all the time. That's something that's very good to see. One imaginary ones NFT here as the winnings, which is also great. I absolutely love the imaginary ones NFTs. I haven't copped one, kind of a shame, but I haven't. 
If you do win, you'll be contacted with a private message from the official social media account. Be wary, they never ask you for passwords or anything like that, so I reckon they're gonna have lots of problems with scammers whenever there's uh, giveaways involved. As I'm doing a giveaway right now in a collaboration with Zoomix, all you have to do is join Zoomix, one of the first links in the description down below. You make an account and you deposit $100, that way you enter a pool of winning 250 USDT. So you just need to deposit, you don't necessarily need to trade, you can take it out at the end, you can do whatever you want, but Zoomix is a great exchange where I hold a lot of my spot tokens. So with that being said, uh, let's see what this game is about. I will log in as anonymous. Oh God, they all those have lore. Okay, <laughs> they have lore, let's see. Never mind. let's skip. Pop the bubble. What? I got 4,000 bubbles, you're kidding me? Thank you very much. Uh, all right, the game hasn't even started. We got 4,000 bubbles. All right, let, let's give it a shot. Here we go. Endless runner type of game. I'm very good at these. This is gonna last a long, long while. Oh. <laughs> I guess I should pay more attention. Second try, here we go. We can jump, we can duck down. Can we duck down? We can't. We totally can duck down. Oh. Well, that was just embarrassing. I totally didn't do that for your entertainment and to make you laugh a little bit because life can be hard and cruel and I know that and having to laugh at least a little bit during your day even when you watch something that may or may not be educational for you. Okay, I'm, <laughs> I'm rambling on too much about this. There's two ways of earning bubble. You can earn it by social. We saw those challenges and then also through gaming just pretty much by playing the game. So we farm bubble via Bubble Rangers the game. It's a free to play on this runner. We just saw it. Each bubble you collect in the game gives you one bubble point. Bubble points will eventually be able to be converted into bubble coins. Current price of the token is 0.001251 dollars so if i got four thousand coins i got five dollars just from signing up that, uh, that, uh, what hold on hold up hold up this may actually be a cash cow are you kidding me is that actually true i guess that's true i'm just curious once they do the conversion is it gonna be one bubble in game for one bubble coin i don't think so because getting five dollars just for registering doesn't sound uh sustainable at all so i i, I would probably look at something like what would be sustainable maybe for a hundred bubbles in game you get one coin something like that anyway next game we got chronos world coming soon for ios and android we have the early access here we can sign up to play the early access actually right now it's in the beta stages on the polygon network where you can build your empire upgrade your team explore unknown worlds fight real-time battles collect and trade so this is an action platformer game, specifically made for mobile phones. It's also multiplayer, so multiplayer is at the heart of the experience. You have quests to complete, journeys to go on, and basically you can own, craft, and upgrade your NFTs inside of the game using the rare resources you obtain while playing. Earn a selection of tokens in the dungeons or the PvP matches, so there will be various dungeons you can play in order to earn tokens, and then also PvP matches, where I reckon the same as one of the games we saw before. The first game we saw, in fact, Robo Hero, where you wager, you both put wagers on and whoever wins the PvP match takes all the tokens. So that's not new, that's something that has been done before in crypto, it's been done before in poker, it's been done before in pool. So definitely not something new and definitely also something that does work. So they have a partnership with CD5, which is very bullish. CD5 is a very, very good gaming launch pad, very good platform. And if they are on CD5, then CD5 sees something in them. So this is definitely a game I would keep my eyes on. A fully docked Steam, as you can see, we can see the CEO, uh, the CFO, so that's always, always good. You never want to see an anonymous team. So in fact, I will sign up right now for their early access and give it a shot as soon as it's available. My gamer name is going to be Inspector. All right, we're just going to confirm the email address real quick. And in the next weeks, they will send me rewards. All right, I'll keep you guys posted on what the rewards are. Next game, Champions Arena by Gala Games. Now, Gala is in a bit of trouble right now, but that's not the topic of this video. We, we won't get too much into it. Needless to say, we're not the biggest fan of Gala at the moment. Now, Champions Arena, we have covered it intensively when it came out. It's a very good game. It's still available. It's fully live, and it's a game where you can earn Gala token. Now, hopefully, nothing will happen to the game, considering what's been happening to other Gala games. I just wanted to give it a brief mention, because Champions Arena is actually a very good game it's a lot of fun and maybe one of the most fun crypto games we have played so far that's actually fully polished it feels like a game that's done a game that's been intensively worked on the developers know what 
what they're doing. Um, the strategies you have in the game make sense. And if you don't know what Champions Arena is, it's a sort of auto battler where you also have cards. So as you can see, the cards on the bottom right here, you pick a card and each card is either a defensive move or an attacking move. There's a sequence of attack that happens between you and your opponent. So you kind of want to time the attacks, use the attacks or the defense based on which hero is coming up next to attack. So if one of the opponent's heroes is very strong, you do want to use a defensive move in your current turn so that you can sustain an attack from him. Otherwise, if he has low health, you want to use an attacking move right away to get him out of the playing field. So just a little bit of what it's actually like to strategize inside of the game. So all in all, I had lots of fun with the game. You can earn just by leveling up. You get to a certain level. You can start earning from there certain PvP modes where you play against other players. That is how you earn coins or rather tokens inside of Champions Arena. Whatever you say about Gala, gotta give him that. All their games really have solid play to earn mechanics. There's a lot of games that just don't have play to earn. They say they'll have it, but they don't. Gala Games always has some sort of play to earn, so gotta give kudos to where kudos is due. Gala Games does that right. Now, hopefully with everything going on behind the scenes with Gala, we're not gonna have too big of a problem with all these games they've been releasing, but we do know some of the games have fully lost their teams, their funding, everything. Like Grit, the Battle Royale game, it's down, it's fully down, it's just servers are down, doesn't work anymore, so it's a shame to see. So hopefully it won't happen the same with Champions Arena. That being said, next game, we got our games. So our game's personal favorite by our researcher. Our researcher is a Web 2 gamer. He hasn't embraced Web 3 yet, but he is exploring it by doing research for the channel. So far, he says there is no crypto game in particular that interests him. So whenever he says that it's his personal favorite, I always want to check it out. So our games is a racing game. Um, so R Games is a simulation racing game available on the Binance Smart Chain and on Solana. It'll be available for Windows, Mac, but also for iOS and Android, fully free to play once it does come out. It's currently in the alpha version. So this is going to be a little bit of a mouthful, but I'll try to say it in one sentence. They're a fully customized platform with multiple games built on both Unreal Engine and Unity, supporting interoperable NFTs and user-generated content with AI-integrated designs. Now, if that doesn't mean anything to you, then don't fret. You can just look at it as a racing game where you can earn money. So they have an extensive range of vehicles that you can race with and play with. You can personalize your vehicles. You can use a swift and nimble motorcycle or you can use a car like we like we blah, tongue twister. Or you can use a car like what we're looking at on the screen right now. Their token is called R Game and there's also single player as well as multiplayer options. So enabling players to interact with the game according to the game preference. Ah, oh, that sounds stupid, man. Why do they always write such descriptions? It sounds so corporate. Just give me a proper description. You can play single player, you can play multiplayer. You know, it's one of the things when I'm on this website, playtorn.net, and they write their own descriptions, right? The games do. And so, this just feels like ChatGPT wrote it. Our game's remarkable graphics, authentic hurdles, and interactive surroundings make it ideal for a game immersive and thrilling racing encounter. As players progress through the same game and reach higher levels, they will face increasingly blah 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 So it is in the alpha version, so I'll cut him some slack, but this gameplay has been uploaded on their official channel, and this doesn't look too good, so it looks like it needs it needs a lot more polishing. First of all, the frame rate is terrible. What's with the motion blur? I will get epilepsy from this. Needs a lot of polishing. So Web2 Researcher, this is your personal favorite? I don't know about this one, mate. But anyway, they'll have street racing, formula racing, off-road racing, and something everybody's the most excited about, they will have play tour mechanics. Now, what play tour mechanics will those be? Well, it's good you asked, because I don't also know. Let's find out. Ah, here it is, the earning model, our game economics. So none of these are important to us except gamers. We're the gamers. How do we earn? So we will have game items, utility tokens, governance tokens, tokens for completing tasks and achieving milestones. So just as I thought, as you play the game, as you play against other people, you climb up the leaderboards and you get uh, tokens in return for playing well, for racing well and for being better than other people. We have a secondary market, which goes directly, uh, the fee and royalty from the secondary market goes to the community treasury, which goes back into the gamers. Then we also have the tournament revenue, where you can earn by being really good in tournaments. Very simple. There will be also be open wagers. It's uh, kind of a trend, as you can see, everybody does wagers. All right, don't worry. I know it's been five games, but we do have two more for you. We do have two more bonus games I want to talk about really quickly, though. First of all, oh, I just spat on my monitor. Sorry. <laughs> 
Sorry, monitor. Gods Unchained, obviously one of the games I will always recommend whenever someone asks me for a mobile game, whenever someone asks me for a free-to-play game. It is Gods Unchained every single time, every single day of the week. I absolutely love Gods Unchained. I love playing it. I love watching videos of it. It's just a great game. If you love card games, check it out. If you don't like card games, you're not gonna like this one anyway. So the way you earn in Gods Unchained is you just create an account and you start playing and you have 10 ranked games per day where you can earn Gods tokens. You can earn anywhere from a $0.1 all the way to $10, $20, $30, depending on what kind of deck you have, depending on how well you play, and also depending on your rank. So if you're the highest possible rank, all your cards are NFTs, and you win 10 out of 10 games, you will obviously earn the most amount of money, but then it is also not free you have invested in NFTs. Obviously, you don't need to have NFTs, but it's an advantage of earning more. The other game I wanted to feature is called Wizare, and it's a game I will more intensively feature in one of the next videos. Now, I just wanted to mention it because it's a very cool game coming soon on the App Store and from Mac OS. Currently, it's available on Windows and Google Play. And if you've ever played the old school Worms, that's kind of what the game is like. Made on the Binance Smart Chain, this is an action turn-based game as the old school Worms were. I was a huge fan of Worms when I was little. Absolutely loved playing them. And as you can see from the gameplay, that's basically what it is. Your characters are kind of stuck in place and you try to destroy each other. You each have only a couple of moves. So either you're going to move a bit or you're going to try to punch them, shoot at them, destroy them in any way you can. All in all, very cool. They have earned is already enabled the game is live so i will talk more about it very very soon for now i just wanted to mention it say it's available and if you want to check it out go for it thanks for watching i'm leaving